everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 10 of Beast Wars Transformers IDW Comic Review. Now, as you know, I have been reviewing the Beast Wars IDW series, that's going to be more of a clean slate from the original Beast Wars cartoon, as well as being the second Beast Wars series after Beast Wars The Gathering and its sequel. And the cover mainly has Optimus Primal on the team getting ready to blast off and looking in a cool pose. The issue mainly starts off Optimus Primal introducing to the team how how because of his actions they've allowed they've allowed basically the Predacons to get an advantage and says But our shields were penetrated at least once. One maximal proform was recorded with a Predacon warrior. I was wrong to play it safe. We need to take more diverse actions, and we're doing it today. And of course, we kind of see how Rat Trap isn't happy about all the responsibilities and that that's happened. And we see Dinobot saying, You don't understand what's at stake, do you? The Golden Disc gives Megatron an incredible advantage. Yeah, but you never said how. And of course we see Donobot telling the story how a, a asteroid collector known as Landmine found the Golden Disc, took it back to the Science Ministry, and you've actually got Wheeljack who's with other Maximals and Predacons and found out the incredible abilities that it has so they decided to play it safe and not let anyone know about this discovery, leaving one of the scientists disgruntled. And we see him talking to an unknown person, saying, The recording seems to be based on Cybertronian data principles, but it's difficult to track like nothing I've ever seen. And we see him talking to Megatron, who asks him to bring... to get the disc out of the Ministry and that, who says, Can I help? Oh yes, tell me more. And of course, this is where you can tell the team now know the, the, the true reason why Megatron stole the Golden Disc. And of course, we see how Optimus Primal plans to attack Megatron's ship, the Dark Side, and bring down their sort of ace cards and that. And we see Dinobot saying, You're not going far enough. We should kill as many of them as we possibly can. It would make everything easier in the long run. And we see Optimus sternly point out that it may be easier, but not right. And of course, they've got a plan. We see them using an old escape ship for their transport, and they get ready. And of course, we see Dinobot getting ready to take them to the dark side in 30 clicks. And we see the new guy Razorbeast saying, uh, Optimus Primal, are you sure we need an attack? I owe my life to one of those Predacons. I wouldn't ask any of you to do this if I don't think it's necessary. And of course, we see Rat Trap pointing out that most of the team aren't really going to be putting much of a fight due to personal traumas, basically none of them wanting to fight. And of course, we see Optimus Primal sternly point out to have more faith in that. And we see how Optimus Primal asks Dinobot to show a hologram of the ship and point out, out ways of taking out the dark side, as well as destroying or retrieving the golden disc to make sure Megatron no longer has any more advantages. And of course, we see how the team plan things out and how they plan to take on each of Megatron's um, soldiers. And we see Cheetor wanting to personally take on Black Rachnia due to tricking him and letting his guard down. We see how Scorponok is training with the other Predacons with him saying, Idiot! What did you call me? And of course, we see how Pterosaur gets annoyed with that that basically Scorponok says that when they do return, the Maximals on Solitron won't be easy. 
And we see Pterosaur getting so angry, saying, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of Megaton telling us to sit around and be patient when he plays with his precious disc. I signed up for action. And of course, we see Megaton overhearing him about being wanting to be leader, and him saying, Is that so? I had no idea you were the sort of visionary who deserved command by all means. Tell us more. Tell us of the height the Predacons would rise to under your leadership. Uh, Megaton, I didn't mean... No, you would dare keep your brilliance to yourself if you believe yourself to be superior? You should be prepared to prove it at all means. Yes. Prove yourself! And we see how Pterosaur tries to beg for his life and tries to fly away. But of course, we see Megaton basically throwing him around like a ragdoll and him saying, The Maximals who are trapped here with us are cowards, weak, and their time will come. Megaton, please! And we see how Megatron plans to blast Pterosaur the Kingdom comes. Just as he does, Tarantulus saves his life. But we see how Tarantulus defends him, saying that he's learned his place in that. And leaves, saying, Perhaps he's learned his lesson after all. You saved me? Why? Because if Megatron had melted you down to slag, there would have been enough full suitable parts left. And kind of leaves him on the floor. And of course, we see how they fly t closely to the dark side now. And the team getting ready. We see how Nyx asks Rhinox if he's nervous. But knows the full well that they're going to have to attack the Predacon sooner or later. And we see the ship approaching and having Optimus Primal asking Dinobot to take the side of the mountains. With Dinobot saying, I have a better idea. I made some small modifications to this craft myself. And of course, we see how the bombs get ready to drop down. We see Walter saying, I do, it's familiar. Everybody down now! And ends up getting blasted. And, the, and Walter is saying, oh, Is anybody damaged? And of course, they mainly think, think they're being attacked. But Scorpionox knows it couldn't be the Maximals. And we see Otter's Primal saying, I guess you learned something new today. Now, where's Megatron? And this is the story. So, issue 10 is pretty good. We see how Optimus Primal now knows the potential consequences of hiding, of hiding behind a shield. And does kind of realise they need to attack sooner or later. I think they could have had more of a story built with Laser Beast to show him being a little doubtful about being a Maximal and having Primal reassure him that he does remind him a lot of his old friends. So I think the story still deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So Comic Reviewer here, signing out.